One of my really good friends is a heels dancer here in Los Angeles. She choreographed this sexy, like, moment dance. His face was like. I run a wheelchair dance team based in Los Angeles. And I build wheelchairs for a living. And about eight years ago, we locked eyes at a work convention. Fast forward, well, it was about six months later, mm -hmm. we were at the same work conference in, a, in another city. And we started talking, took her out to dinner and breakfast in the morning. And then that same conference came by the following year. And by that time we had hung out quite a bit. And I remember you were like, so we doing this? Yeah, I and think I was I like, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I didn't want it to feel like you went into a ballroom for the wedding. To me, that was like really important. So I looked at the knot and all these inspirations and I found that if you put something above the dance floor, it kind of makes it feel a little bit more intimate. And so we had these hanging flowers above the dance floor, which this was, I will never forget that. Oh yeah, no, it totally transformed this ballroom. And to have just hanging apparatus with all these white roses draping down, it was, it made it feel like it wasn't like a ballroom. It made it feel magical, you know? And also white roses was really sentimental to his mom. So his mom passed away before we got married. And that was a big thing for both of us that we wanted to make sure that we honored her. And so we held a seat for her. I got to walk down with a, a white rose, her favorite flower and set it on her chair and say some words. It was special. I thought she was like pulling a runaway bride on me. That was something that did not go according to plan. We were supposed to start and everything's been going according to time pretty well. And then all of a sudden, 35 minutes go by, where, where's, my, where's my wife, where's my fiance? I had a mental breakdown because I stood up in my leg braces and my dress ripped. And then I just had like, oosa, I had to like calm myself <laughs> down and I ended up being late to our own, my own wedding. Yeah, I ended up going and sitting with people in the, in the crowd and just kind of hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> like, anybody know what time this thing starts? <laughs> I had this wifey white backrest that was made for my chair because I wanted my chair to feel a part of my my look and not just like it's this object. It is part of who I am. It's a part of our relationship. You know, I grew up as an able body. I grew up without a disability and I always wondered being paralyzed at 17, would I be able to stand eye to eye with the person of my dreams? would I be able to walk down the aisle? And for me, I always told myself no matter what, I will. Training for myself to build up the stamina to walk down the aisle took a really long time. It took about six months to really feel like I could stand with a walker and stand upright and not be out of breath. And, you know, I, I still can't walk, but I used my hip flexors to be able to pull my legs forward, but I had leg braces under my dress and I was able to stand up, lock out my knees with my dad and everyone turned around. That moment that I was so scared, everything just like left my body when I saw you. I'm an emotional guy, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I saw her. I like doubled over and I cried like a baby. <laughs> I'm about to cry right now. <laughs> To me, it was about proving to myself that I could do it and wanting that moment with him, eye to eye, heart to heart, and being able to have it the way that I always wanted it to be. Probably my favorite part was um, getting Stan Chelsea up for our first dance. And that was kind of something that we didn't really plan. We kind of just said, hey, you got your braces on, you want to yeah. do this? So we got to stand eye to eye for our first song as a married couple, yeah. so that was cool. One of the things that I would uh, definitely recommend to anyone getting married is on the day that you get married, just make sure you take some time to really sink it in because it's over before you know it. For me, I think another thing that I would suggest is take your time planning 
and don't sweat the small stuff. In our wedding video, one of the last things that she said was, Jay is going to be the best dad and I cannot wait to make him a father. And here we are, a year later, expecting our first child. We did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs>